we normally think computer as a deterministic machine. So it was a surprise when people discovered that by adding random moves to the computer, it actually can make it run faster. Exactly when and how these random moves should be added to gain speed up. I studied this question and fact gave some answers and also found limitations to the speed up. Later, people called it the Yas principle. Computers have become incredibly powerful over the years. But this long and steady progress will soon reach its technological limit due to the quantum effects. One revolutionary idea is to take this problem head on by designing a quantum computer to embrace the quantum effect. To have a quantum computer, we need to have three key requirements. Stable qubits, high fidelity quantum gates, and a way for mass production of qubits. We need developments in control technologies, in laser, in electromagnetic fields, in electronics, in material, and in nanofabrication. The Center for Quantum Information is located at Tsinghua University. Five years ago, we recruited both theoretical and experimental quantum scientists to explore possible paths towards building a quantum computer. Superconducting quantum computing has made tremendous progress in the last decade. We are using the so-called circuit electrodynamics architecture, and I hope we can tackle one of the most challenging problems of building a practical quantum computer, which is to realize quantum error correction. We need better qubits with longer coherence times, better microwave engineering, and better manipulation of qubits with high fidelity operations in a scalable architecture. Trapped ion is the leading system currently for the quantum computations. We want to make a quantum uh, system that outperforms the classical computation. Uh, right now, we are building room temperature traps, but eventually we want to put in the cryostat uh, environment to hold the ions uh, as long as possible and uh, do the all the computations. Diamond defect beams uh, emerged recently as a very promising system for realization of a quantum computer. This system can provide stable qubits by nuclear spins with very long coherence times. To realize this, the key facility is a nanofabrication or diamond nanophotonics technology. So that's why we put a lot of efforts to develop the nanofabrication facility here. Nanofabrication plays a key role for quantum computing. This kind of uh, qubits uh, can be only uh, be made by a nanofabrication process. We can make many materials using fabrication facilities. We have electron beam evaporator system. We have plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition system. We also have atomic layer deposition systems. So we can even control the thickness within a single atomic layer level. We need theory to guide experiments and to provide a vision for the future. And we also need brilliant ideas to solve the problems that we meet in our experiments. At CQI, I study theoretical condensed matter, quantum anybody theory, and quantum statistical mechanics. Quantum computers are very fragile, and we are really struggling to find a way to make them robust at the physical level. Noble states of matter, like topologically ordered states, offer the chance to be much more robust and have slow dynamics so that we can make a quantum computer with them. We work in uh, close touch with uh, our experimental colleagues, especially because now the experimental capabilities are able to show coherent quantum dynamics. That is my main topic of theoretical research. Quantum computing is naturally interdisciplinary due to the joint efforts between physicists and computer scientists. Our students are encouraged to take a wide variety of courses in different areas, including computer science, physics, mathematics. Many of them have found interdisciplinary fields that suit their interests. I have taken various courses 
on the theoretical aspect of computer science. Meanwhile, I have taken many courses on physics to solidify my background. In the future, I hope to study the black hole information paradox from a quantum information perspective. We have a very creative and excellent research environment here in CQI. And also the institute provides us with very fantastic experimental setups and brings people together from different backgrounds to work closely with each other. I'm currently a fifth year PhD candidate in Center for Quantum Information, Tsinghua University. Last year, our work on realization of universal geometric gates got published on Nature. We have great professors and great colleagues and great fundings here. We believe that if we work very, very hard, we can make a realistic quantum computer.